the controversial views of former Australian tennis star Margaret Court are back in the news because of a decision to give her the highest honor the country can give. Court will be made a companion in the general division of the AO, which is the highest level of award. Court is already an officer of the Order of Australia. It has already been criticized because her views on homosexuality, gay marriage, and transgender people are so different from many peoples. Margaret Court is an untouchable immortal, and for various reasons. First, she won four Grand Slams in one year, and she did well in doubles and mixed doubles. Grand Slam No matter how good a tennis player is, we all know it's hard for them to win all four Grand Slams in the same year. Even the big three of ATP tennis, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic haven't been able to do this, so it's a big sign, if not a requirement, to be called the GOAT of the sport. In 1970, Margaret Court became the first woman in the Open era and the second woman in the history of the sport to win all four Grand Slams in a row in the same calendar year. This amazing accomplishment is often called the Holy Grail of tennis, and only five players in the WTA and ATP have done it so far. If winning all four Grand Slams in one year isn't impressive enough, you'll be happy to know that it wasn't the first time the Australian did something that big. Between 1963 and 1965, Margaret Court won all of the major mixed doubles titles in a row. By the end of 1970, she had won an amazing three calendar Grand Slams in all of her games. Court won 21 Grand Slams in mixed doubles and 19 Grand Slams in women's doubles, for a total of 40 Grand Slams in doubles tennis. This was on top of her already impressive record. The Australian GOAT didn't stop there, though. In 1973 and 1975, she won the WTA Finals at the end of the season to add two more prestigious doubles titles to her name. Next, several career box set Grand Slams and unmatched singles winning percentage. You may have looked at the title and been confused by what you just read. That's understandable, since a box set Grand Slam is a rare feat in the history of sports, and most people have never heard of it. It means that someone has won the singles, doubles, and mixed doubles titles at the same Grand Slam tournament over the course of their career. During her career as a professional tennis player, Margaret Court won a career box set Grand Slam at least once in every major. Even more impressively, Court has won the box set at a single Grand Slam event five times, which means she would win every single event at the tournament. Margaret Court is unbeatable when it comes to Grand Slams because she is the only player in men's and women's tennis history to have won the singles, doubles, and mixed doubles titles at least twice in every Grand Slam event. The fact that she is and will always be the only tennis player to win box set Grand Slams before and after the Open era makes her list of world records even more impressive. With 64 WTA majors under her belt, it's no surprise that Margaret Court has the best singles winning percentage of all time in the Open era. She won 593 of her 649 singles matches during that time, which is an incredible 91.37%. To give you an idea, Novak Djokovic has won about 83.16% of his singles matches, which is the most of any man who has ever played tennis. Last but not least, she had a strong body, played well, and trained well. Margaret Court's unmatched success has been helped by a winning combination. Her natural body, which has been greatly enhanced by her choice of playing style and dedication to training. Avoiding injury as much as possible is often overlooked as a key to success in tennis. Unfortunately, many players with great potential have been held back by injuries, which have sometimes ended their careers. Margaret Court was known as the Aussie Amazon because she worked out hard and was one of the few women who did things like lift weights, do circuit training, and run up sandy hillsides. Court's training not only kept her from getting hurt for most of her career, but it also helped her make the most of her body. The Aussie was a servant volleyer who was sneakily fast on the court. She had a longer reach than most people and was taller, stronger, and bigger than most. Since 23 of her 64 major career titles were won at the Australian Open and she was Australian, it makes sense that one of the best tennis stadiums in the country was renamed Margaret Court Arena in 2003 to honor Australia's best female tennis player ever. In fact, there has never been a player like Margaret Court. Serena Williams has come close to matching her Grand Slam singles record, but trying to beat the Aussies' doubles records is a whole new set of problems that are unlikely to be solved in the near future. So why is she so controversial? Court, who is now 78 years old, is a Pentecostal minister at a church in Perth. Over the past few years, she has been criticized many times for being outspoken about the LGBTIQ plus community. Court has spoken out against same-sex marriage, criticized transgender athletes, and said that LGBTIQ plus school lessons are of the devil. These remarks have been called homophobic. In 2013, she wrote to a newspaper to complain about Australian tennis player Casey Delacroix's same-sex relationship that led to the birth of their child. She wrote, Personally, I don't have anything against Casey Delacroix or her partner. It makes me sad to see it looks like this baby has lost his father. A few years later, Court caused another media storm when she told a local paper in a letter that she 
wouldn't fly with Qantas anymore because the airline supported gay marriage. At the time, Australia had not yet made gay marriage legal, even though polls had shown that most Australians were in favor of it. I am disappointed that Qantas has become an active promoter for same-sex marriage, Court said in a letter to the West Australian newspaper. In a sermon she gave at the Pentecostal church where she is a minister in 2019, Court took aim at trans athletes and trans children. Because we live in a time, Court told her congregation at the time, even LGBT and schools are of the devil, not of God. A month before Tennis Australia was going to honor Court's Grand Slam, she gave a sermon. The governing body wasn't sure what to do to honor Court, but they decided to recognize but not celebrate her accomplishments and stay away from her personal views. As often stated, Tennis Australia does not agree with Margaret's personal views, which have demeaned and hurt many in our community over a number of years, TA said at the time in a statement. They do not align with our values of equality, diversity, and inclusion. Our sport is open to everyone, no matter their gender, ability, race, religion, or sexual orientation, and we will continue to actively promote inclusion initiatives at all levels of the sport. Finally, what has been the reaction this time? Court said that getting a second Australia Day honor makes her feel blessed, and she hasn't seen any backlash to her award, even though some labor leaders have criticized the move. She told reporters on Friday, I wasn't really looking forward to it, so I'm blessed. I haven't seen any backlash, and this time I'll just stick to tennis. That's why I'm getting it, and I think it's a great honor, and I'm grateful for it. Premiers of both Victoria and Western Australia have said they don't think she should be given an award. I don't give those gongs out. That has nothing to do with me, Mr. Andrews told reporters on Friday. You might want to ask them why they think those views, which are shameful, hurtful, and cost lives, should be respected. I'm not going to stand here just to be polite and not live my values. My values say that those attitudes are wrong and my government's position, and I think the vast majority of Victorians do not support that kind of hateful approach. Mark McGowan, the Premier of Western Australia, said that he did not agree with Court's ideas, especially about gay and lesbian people. I think Extra Order of Australia awards should go to unsung heroes across the country, and there's a great many of them, he said. Anthony Albanese, the leader of the opposition, was also not happy, saying that Court had already been honored for her tennis prowess. I think it's clear for everyone to see that making her a companion of the Order of Australia has nothing to do with tennis, he said. Scott Morrison, who is the Prime Minister, said he didn't know anything about the situation. He said, I can't comment on an award that's done through an independent process that hasn't been announced, or I have no official knowledge of those things. This is a completely independent, separate process. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers!